Hey everyone, my name is Ira, for those of you who don't know, and for those of you who do, hello again. Um, I'm totally in my underwear, just, you know, I heads up, it's late at night. Uh, but I really wanted to quickly talk about the difference between being assigned female at birth, or, you know, being assigned male at birth, and being female-bodied or male-bodied. Um, they are often used interchangeably, and they are not the same thing, right? Uh, being assigned female at birth refers to an experience. Being female-bodied refers to an identity, uh, and so, for example, being assigned female at birth, I have no say in that. I, that just, it's a fact. It's what happened. I was assigned female at birth. It doesn't refer to what my body is now. It doesn't refer to how I see my body. It doesn't refer to how, how I experience my life in my body now. For example, I can be female assigned at birth and gain access to male privilege like I do now. <laughs> uh, I can be male assigned at birth and have and lose access to male privilege, like trans women, right? Um, female bodied and male bodied, like I said earlier, refers to an identity. It means that I see my body as female. That doesn't necessarily mean I identify as female. It just means this is what I think my body is. I can totally identify as a man and label my body as female body, just like a trans woman can identify as a woman and label her body as male bodied, right? The important note here is that the only person that has the right to refer to someone as male bodied or female bodied is the individual in reference to their own body. I only have the right to label my own body. Nobody else has the right to label my body, and people try on a regular basis and they make assumptions about my body on a regular basis, but that doesn't mean that I say that about my body. And just because somebody else tries to insert a label onto my body doesn't mean it's right, um, or rather, correct. Uh, although I, I, I think it's wrong. Um, but the, the main problem with these two terms being not only used interchangeably is that they're also used as, as blanket statements to refer to an experience within subgroups of the trans community, right? Um, and so what you see is that female-bodied, female assigned at birth often refers to trans men, and male-bodied and male assigned at birth is often referred to as trans women. Um, a lot of trans women are assigned male at birth. A lot of trans men are assigned female at birth, and that's not the problem. Um, the problem is when it comes with these, with, with a loaded definition, and it comes with the connotation of People who are assigned female at birth have vaginas. People who are, who are female-bodied have vaginas, and that's not entirely true, right? A lot of us do, um, but not all of us. And when I say a lot of us do, I mean a lot of us identify our, gen our genitalia as vaginas. I don't necessarily mean that we all have dicks, um, or that we don't, that, or that some of us have dicks. Um, although, some of us do. That's, my point is, is that our genitalia cannot have a blanket statement over it, and our genitalia does not define our experience, and my genitalia does not define my identity, and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I can go on forever about that. Um, so that's the problem, and, and I say this because, you know, for example, a lot of trans men have bottom surgery. A lot of trans women have bottom surgery. They were assigned male, female at birth and male at birth, but <laughs> one has a dick and one has a vagina. Uh, and likewise, even if you don't have any surgery, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have the genitalia that comes with the connotation of female assigned at birth or male assigned at birth. For example, a lot of trans men refer to their genitalia as front holes and dicks. Some of us refer to it as pussies and clits, and both of them are fine. Uh, I can't really speak for trans women in this regard because I have no experience in that. I don't know. But I mean, like, if any trans women watch this video, please, uh, put in your own feedback and your own commentary in the comments. Uh, I'd like to learn. I don't, you know, I'm not a woman, and I don't, I don't try to gain access into trans women's spaces, because it's for you, right? Uh, so, I hope, I hope that this makes sense, that there is a difference between female body being female assigned at birth, and that... Both of them being used as blanket statements is inaccurate, and the reason why that they're inaccurate is because they both lead way to a huge amount of erasure, right? So when, for example, 
you refer like they they erase intersex people who are transitioning from you know from from intersex to female, intersex to male. It erases people who have had bottom surgery. It erases people who don't identify their body in such a way. It erases et cetera, et cetera. Not only well, especially in regards to you know female bodied. Not only does it erase the people who don't feel this way, it completely undermines their identity, which is the base, the basis of cis sexism in general. Uh, so let's not do that. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say about that. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, send me an email. Go to my blog. Leave me an anonymous question if you want to be anonymous, leave me a non-anonymous question. If you don't want to be anonymous, that's that works too. Uh, send me a message on Facebook, you know, et cetera, et cetera. There are multiple ways that you can contact me, and I'm more than happy to uh, reply on any of those mediums. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.